What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. If you're new around here, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for my latest content just like this. Also, there is a link in the description to my Twitch. I will be going live most nights on Red Dead Online and GTA Online very soon. But there is a link in the description for my Twitch if you guys want to come and follow. So, getting straight into the video. Rockstar put out a, a new patch update yesterday. And I did do a video straight after we got that patch update. And in that video, you guys saw me find a legendary animal, the Emerald Wolf, within three minutes of loading the game up, which I thought was absolutely insane. And I thought, yes, Rockstar have done good here. They've not completely broke the game like they did last time. And, you know, where do we start? Basically, after the video, uh, I tried to get more legendary animals. I had no luck. Um, it, could be, it could be down to the spawn ratio, but we'll get into that anyway. And on the night, you know, a few hours later... Uh, my one of my team members, uh, Barrett. Shout out to Barrett. Uh, he, he. Uh, we went into a solo lobby. There is a way of of doing it. You need two players. I'm sure a lot of you guys know it. And I got my friend Barrett into a solo lobby, and he wanted to just go around on his own. He was the only one in the lobby to look for legendary animals. Now, as soon as he spawned within. 10 minutes the night poor coyote spawned in now he already had the outfit for it and he didn't want it it was it was a legendary animal that i needed so he quickly invited me back to his session to give me the night poor coyote which was very generous of him so i got that without needing to do the work and that is one off my list and today the gameplay you're seeing right now is what I just recorded and this is just a part of the gameplay and I was I was playing the game for three hours just looking for legendary animals in free roam that's all I was doing almost three hours went by without finding one legendary animal now compared to yesterday's experience to today very very different very different and you know, we know there is still bugs in the game, you know, like the uh, butcher's table for the camp. Uh, the trader business has its own bugs. You know, there's uh, coverings for tents. It's not showing the coverings on the tents. Uh, you know, it just seems that when we get a new patch update, there's new bugs. Or there are still bugs that are still active from before the patch. And as little as butcher's tables not being able to be purchased it's a little thing to do and rockstar you're not doing it and it it really frustrates me you know rockstar or a massive gaming company they've earned billions the last few few years from gta and they've earned good money from red dead 2 so why are they not getting liable servers you, you know it's a one time purchase thing you purchase it it's done and they're not doing it and going back to legendary animals I've been playing right as you can see in the gameplay right now I'm looking for the I believe it's the coyote in McFarlane's Ranch in New Austin I can't remember what it's called the red streak coyote something like that and that animal is active any time in the day and it doesn't matter what the weather is. So just from that description, it should be a very easy legendary animal to spawn in compared to most of the legendary animals. But it's not. It's not spawning in. I, you know, I I went to Armadillo uh, just before this location to look for the desert elk, and I went to all the locations. It was the right time of day. It was the right weather. Nothing. I've, there's a legendary animal I've been trying to get for a while now and that is the snow bison in Coulter and 
I, you know, I've been trying a lot. I've been in, you know, all for that legendary animal, the snow bison. It just needs to be dark and clear weather. I've tried plenty of times. It just will not spawn in. And I've been getting a lot of comments recently that people are spending hours. To, this was from the video I posted yesterday after the patch update that people are spending hours looking for legendary animals in the right times and the right weathers. They're just not spawning in. Now, as you see here, guys, I literally just spawned in to Colta. I fast traveled to Colta. The second I, sp I fast traveled to Colta, there we go. We have the legendary marble fox. Now, a lot of you guys know I had a lot of trouble getting this legendary animal, you know, a couple of weeks ago. I spent a total of probably 32 hours plus gameplay just to try and get this legendary animal. Guys, this is the fourth time I've now found it. And this legendary animal, it has only spawned in when I fast travel to Colta. As you saw there, guys, I fast traveled and, and within 10 seconds, the legendary animal spawned in. Now, I did mention yesterday that me and my team, we were good at getting legendary animals. As you can see from a few of my videos I've been posting, it has been finding legendary animals. And the thing is, we, you know, it seems to be that fast traveling is the key to getting legendary animals to spawn. As you saw, I, I fast traveled to Kota, 10 seconds, legendary animal spawned in. Now I do have the outfit for this legendary animal, so I'm just gonna hand it into Crips as these legendary animals do benefit your trader wall very very good so i would recommend it i wouldn't if you already have the outfit and and sample of the legendary animal i would just recommend giving it to crips for your trader wall as it does increase the goods really really well so guys you know whenever you're looking for a legendary animal when you are when you want to go to the area of the legendary animal the snow bison or the snow buck anything like that any animal preferably fast travel in the area of that legendary animal then quickly as you can go more into the area of that legendary animal and you'll probably have a better chance of it spawning in that seems to be the method for me from my experience i've probably found a good eight to ten legendary animals just from fast traveling into that area so also guys down in the description i will leave a link to a guy video tech a lot of people know him he's on twitter it will be a link to his twitter and that will show you a thread of all the fixes that were included in yesterday's red dead online new patch update so check it out if you want to if you don't already know what the fixes are but there are a lot of fixes to come rockstar did go ahead and say they are releasing patch fixes in stages because they tried to do it all at once before and it broke the game so we will get more fixes but in stages so that is the video guys let me guys know what you think and comment whatever you like about legendary animals i will try and pinpoint it a little bit easier for you but as you see from this video i'm struggling a little bit myself but thanks for your time guys you guys are incredible drop a like subscribe hit that bell i'm sg and i'll see you guys next time